Welcome back to Energy Economics and Idris Tijani. And we're going to be continuing our discussion on multiple linear regression today. So we had already established in our previous class um, how to derive the estimator of the parameters, the beta 1, beta 2, and beta 3. So we established that beta 1 is of y bar minus beta 2 at x2 bar x2 bar minus beta 3 at x3 bar and beta 2 at is summation x2 y um, uh, beta 2 at uh, so beta minus summation x3 y summation x2 x3 all over summation x2 squared summation x3 all squared minus summation x2 x3 squared all squared then beta 3 like i said in our previous class what you just have to do is to interchange them denominator the same and the last um variable here is the same so just say summation x3 y is summation this will be x2 all squared minus summation x2 y then this is the same x2 x3 all over summation x3 x2 all squared summation x3 all squared minus summation x2 x3 then another thing i want to say here is um even if you interchange the denominators you are still going to arrive at the same thing if you put three here and put two here, put three here, put two here, you are still saying the same thing. So there's a really no point interchanging them. So that's that was um, the formula we arrived at the, in our last class. So today we're going to be working with a practical example. So we I say we have um, regression equation beta one hat plus beta two at x2 plus beta 3 at x3 plus u at so we have we have data on our variables x2 x3 and uh, y and we like to estimate to get beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 so how do we go about this that is what we want to look at in, in this in this um this class today. So um, we are going to be working with uh, this example on the board here. We have our x2, x3, and y. So our equation, the equation will be y equals beta 1 at plus beta 2 at x2 plus beta 3 at x3 plus u at so we're going to be working with this we want to derive our we want to get answer for beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 and remember in the last class i made mention of the fact that in estimation what we reckon with is the deviation form so this is the normal form of the data so we have to convert this to the deviation form meaning for the x2 x2 will be in its deviation form small letter x3 be in deviation form small letter then y will also be in the deviation form small letter then what is the, the, this deviation form i'm talking about for your x2 small letter that is the big x minus the mean of x2 for your x3 big x3 minus the mean of x3 for your y the big y minus the mean of y then how do we get the mean of x2? The mean of x2 is the summation of x2 over n. n is the number of observations we have. So when you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, that's n. So we can say our n here is 10. So for x3, bar, that's the summation of x3 over n. Then for y bar, that's the summation of y over n so we have our n already so for your summation of x2 
what do we have? Please like and subscribe.